Hey everyone, I'm your Protus Guy, and today I want to talk to you about radishes. Radishes are one of my favorite vegetables to grow. Why is that? Because radishes are the gardener's instant gratification. For those of you who don't like to wait a long time for stuff, 60 days can be a long time on a lot of vegetables. But radishes from seed to harvest, 28 days. I love those things. They even say on the uh, package with of carrot seeds, they suggest planting some radish seeds along with the carrot seeds so you can, because carrot seeds take a long time to germinate. Uh, radishes are halfway ripe by the time some of the carrots germinate, so they suggest you plant them in a row with the uh, carrots so you can at least remember and see where the carrots have been planted. Kind of funny. Uh, I'd never done that, by the way. Uh, so today I've got uh, got my square of radishes, and these little guys have been covered up by our kale, which has done so well, but here's uh, a square of 16 radishes right here, and I'm going to go ahead and harvest some of these because they are ready. Let's see, you can tell as, as these guys are, uh, you just brush away a little bit of the dirt off the top there, you can kind of see the, the size of the radish and, and know that it's ready to harvest. So let me look through here. There's another, oh there's kind of a long skinny one. Oh there's another big fat one. Oh, that one's a cute little guy. Oh, another cute little one there. Now these others, these others that aren't quite up to size yet, we'll just leave them. They can grow for a few more days, and uh, every day they'll uh, they get a little bit bigger and bigger. And pretty soon we'll have harvested all 16, and this square will be ready for planting another crop here shortly. So that's the other great thing about radishes is you can rotate crops um, a couple of times during the growing season uh, with the uh, with the method that we're using here. I'm going to go ahead and wash these up and then fix these for, uh, for d uh, delicious eating. Here we have our freshly harvested radishes right out of the garden. Look at the, the beautiful color on those. Nice smooth skins just like we want. Now, I'm going to make a quick preparation of these. You can do a lot of things with these. Of course, they're great in salads. Uh, by themselves, I love them. Uh, if you don't like the heat of the radishes, a lot of the heat is contained in the skin. So if you just take your radish with a vegetable peeler and peel that skin off, you'll reduce the, uh, uh, the heat or the bite in a radish. But today, what I want to do with them is I am just going to slice them up. Get those sliced up there. Get them out here on my plate. And then I'm going to apply a little lime juice and salt. Simple, quick, and easy, and delicious. A pinch of salt there. There we go. Okay, gonna let those set for a minute, fix up some more so we have a nice plate of them to share, and we'll get this finished up. So I've got uh, my plate pretty much covered. I've got the lime juice on them and uh, the salt. You know, using the lime juice and salt, that really helps to mellow any heat that's in the radish as well. So that's uh, the reason I like it there, and it, the lime helps to bring out more of the, that real radish flavor, minimizing the heat. Just delicious. Radishes are so great. The color is so wonderful to use on your table, either whole or in salads, and they make a great garnish too. Just some slices, or uh, there are even folks who uh, have some little tricks they can do with uh, radishes and make them look like... Uh, various little shapes that go onto a vegetable tray or relish tray. Just, just wonderful. Well, there's my tip on radishes for you today. 
wonderful, wonderful vegetable. Again, the gardener's instant gratification. They take only those 28 days from seed to harvest, and they're just terrific. Gives you hope to keep going on in the garden. Thanks very much for watching. Appreciate you, everyone, subscribing, and love your comments. I had some great comments. Thank you very much. Please keep that up. We'll see you soon on the next uh, next video of your produce guy. And want to remind you, as always, fresh is best. This is your produce guy, and we thought we'd give a quick demonstration on how to uh, wrap and store your melons uh, once you've brought them home from the store, because rarely do we use an entire melon in one sitting, unless it's a family gathering or someplace where we've got a lot of, a lot of people to consume that melon. Now, you'll go to the grocery store, and you'll often see displayed half melons, where they've cut the melon in half for you and, and put it on display, such as uh, you might see this. At, uh, at your local store. Well, there's a quite, quite a simple technique that we use at the grocery store in order to wrap and, and store these and prepare them for sale.